Site conversion is a very dry and unexciting way of saying how to get more profits from the same amount of website traffic. Isn't that a more upbeat way of expressing it? Who doesn't want to get more profits from the same number of visitors? Increasing your conversion rate is a straightforward, even dramatic way of positively impacting your bottom line. It really cannot be emphasized too much that any increase at all in your conversion rate means additional revenue that is total profit. Remember this fact when you are told that the way to make more money is to invest in more traffic generating schemes and dreams at times. Before you start spending more money to generate additional traffic, you need to do as much as you can with the traffic you're already getting. If you keep the horse ahead of the cart in your planning, you will have an efficient, stable, measurable conversion rate from which you can extrapolate X amount of additional profit from Y amount of new traffic generation. The following tips are not in any particular order except for number one and can be modified and reordered to suit your particular situation. Take ownership of the change and improvement and make sure everyone involved understands the importance of maximizing every revenue source beginning with the existing ones. Number one, before you can repair or improve something, you have to have a good way of measuring where you are, what you're doing, where you're going, etc. You can sign up for a free Google Analytics account and use other low and no cost tools to develop your analytics and metrics, essentially fancy words that tell you how you're doing with numbers. Number two, create landing pages that are both keyword and campaign specific. Try separating any related pay-per-click keywords into smaller and tighter groups and then create the landing pages for each of those new subgroups. Conversions will almost certainly be better if keywords, advertising approaches, and landing pages are thematically related and tightly integrated. Number three, test different headlines and copywriting. This might be the most effective way of quickly showing improvements. Therefore, you need to write compelling copy or find someone else who can do it for you. There's plenty of free advice about this, much of it worth every penny you pay for it, but the importance of copywriting as it affects site conversions cannot possibly be overstated. This is key. Number four, it is very important to test your pricing, as it really does make a huge difference in conversions. If your goal is to maximize customer value, then the highest converting price may not actually be the optimal one. In other words, if you raise your price by 50% and only see a 10% reduction in conversions, you will more than compensate for the drop. Going the other direction, if you lower the price 15% and this doubles or triples your ratio, your increase compensates for your price reduction. Test your prices and test them in both directions. Number five. Website load time has become an oft overlooked item in this age of broadband everywhere. Load time is critically important in reducing your bounce rate on landing pages. There are various online services that will measure your load speed. HTTP colon slash slash www.websiteoptimization.com slash services slash analyze. And when you know what it is, you can reduce it by compressing images, removing redundant items, optimizing your style sheets, CSS, and HTML code, and so on. The reference website will also give you advice on other ways to improve your site's load speed. Clearly identify the sales paths and remove any points of resistance or bottlenecks. Even if you have just a single product, there may be a number of different paths that lead to a sale. Perhaps you have a landing page to acquire visitor contact data, which then takes them to a sales page, then to an order page, and so on. Check your metrics and analytics carefully and you should start seeing patterns in how your visitors navigate your site. If you could see when, where, and how visitors are leaving the site, you can delete unnecessary steps, enhance the sales copy or the call to action, insert a few testimonials, emphasize your warranty, or something else to capture that business. Do everything you can to keep the sales process simple and straightforward. The less confusing it is, the less resistance visitors will display. Number seven, let your praises come from others' lips. Sometimes talking about oneself can sound egotistical, and it has been clearly proven that third-party testimonials increase conversions. In marketing, it is called social proof, when you bring in statements and assessments from others to buttress your message. 
If you add testimonials, short blurbs, highlighted quotes, letters to your various landing pages, sales pages, and even shopping cart pages, you will almost invariably notice an increase in your conversion rate. Number eight, you need to understand the mind of your market and your customer's experience with your website. Place an order on the site yourself as you step into the mind of a first-time visitor. Identify the hang-ups, inefficiencies, and confusing or missing components that hinder your conversions. In concert with step number six above, you want to identify why you're not converting so that you can make the necessary improvements, whatever they may be, to increase your ratio. Number nine, some people believe passionately in the power of media on landing, sales, and order pages to increase conversions considerably. Others are not convinced, and there is not much hard data from controlled studies to consult. You should consider testing this idea yourself. You should try pages both with and without automatic play engaged. The idea is to lower buyer resistance, and if media helps, all the better. Music, motion graphics, and video do add life and personality to your website, but there is a sweet spot or balancing point, and the fact remains that different age and cultural groups respond differently to the media. Aren't most of these lists called the top 10 of this or that? You can count this tip as a bonus then. Keep track of everything you do. Nothing goes without saying anymore, so you are hereby reminded that all your hard work can go for naught if you do not keep good records of what changes you're making, when, where, why, and how. Chart your progress, review it regularly, and don't be afraid to make continuing refinements as you move along your strategic path. Finally, as a super bonus tip, use some kind of sales accelerator offer intensifier or other method to move people faster through the sales process. It could be a special one-time or limited time offer, a limited quantity offer, or even a special event promotion. Research what's going on at other sites in your industry and others, and stay abreast of what seems to be working. Add your own creativity to the mix, tailor things to your company's situation, and you should start seeing increased conversion rates in short order.